Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Gonna do some 2 vs 2 StarCraft Cassie Cast. Gotta get that na 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 in there. And I got Day, Rally, Dingo. Oh no. I got Hydra, Death Jam, Dingo, and Day in this game. So Day right here, Dingo, and you got Death Jam. And you got Hydra. So teams are Hydra and Day. So Protoss, Protoss versus Dingo, Protoss, and Def Jam on the Zerg. Gonna go for a, a choke. I'm not gonna be able to change the colors on this, unfortunately. And this is gonna be a, a bad spot for Hydra right here. Here's your two uh, Zellies coming out for Dingo. And I have not seen Day play in a little while. So, uh, he's a pretty good player. I haven't cast him too much on my channel. I really haven't seen him play it in a, a while, recent, as of recent. So, here's your scout. So, it's coming into Hydra's base. He's getting his first gas. Pull those probodomes to the other side. Gonna clip this Zealot and take that guy out. Nicely done by Hydra. Send these guys over. Here's three, two cannons. Gonna finish up. So he's gonna have to pull these guys back. And they're not gonna be able to get anything done. Here's your choke. Two hatcheries for Def Jam. And we saw that Def Jam, really, really good player. He's also really, really good at two versus two as well. Here's your forge. Looks like they're gonna try to box in. I think they should try to box in the Zerg and then try to kill the Protoss because the Protoss is above them and easily going to start abusing Hydra. So we'll see if that's what they do. Here's some Zealots right here. Probe in here going to pull those guys back. We'll see if Def Jam scouts with these Zerglings. Get his first gas. And Dingo's got his first gas. He's got a Cyber on the way. There's a probe in here. Nexus coming down for a day. We'll see if another Nexus comes down. And a couple of Zealots right here. And Hydra's been playing a lot of 2 vs 2. So is Dingo. And a lot of these players have been playing a lot of 2 vs 2 this season. So season's been extended to the end of the year. So maybe we'll see a 2 vs 2 tournament. That would be pretty exciting. Here's your lair on the way for Def Jam. I'm going to try to do six games. So, cannon coming down. Getting double robotics. No Nexus yet for Hydra. And here comes a Zealot. Going to run in here. Going to try to get that scout off. And it looks like that guy is going to get trapped. So, nicely done. There's your scout right here. We'll see if he gets a Dragoon to kill this Overlord. And Def Jam telling his partner that they are going for a mess. I don't agree with boxing in top right right here. And Dragoons is what Dingo is going to be going for. So he's going to go for a mess. Well, I put that D&D on. I get some pylons right here for his partner. Two more hatcheries. There's your lair. Spire on the way. And it looks like he's going to go for Reavers, but he's also going to drop some Zealots in here, I think. But he's got Dragoons on the way, so... We'll see if this is probably not going to be able to get much done here. There's your Zealots. Going to go pick up some more Zealots. Drop them in there. Here's four more Zealots. Here's your Dragoons. I'm gonna try to take out the Dragoons if he can. Drop more Zealots in here. And there's cannons back here as well. And those two Reavers getting close to done. Here's your triple Nexus for Hydra. Picking up some more Zealots. Gonna drop them in here. I'm gonna try to take out these Dragoons. Doesn't wanna lose his shuttle. And here's your two Reavers getting two more shuttles. I'm 
gonna attack the dragoons right here trying to sneak this in drops the reavers he'll probably snipe out the shuttle real quick and gonna start pushing we'll see if you does get made anytime soon taking that out and slowly getting closer and closer to the minerals we'll see if he starts stacking these probes out of there not moving them just yet gonna pull them to the left side not gonna get anything done so here comes your mutas from Def Jam and Hydra has a few cannons back here we'll see if this is eight mutas two more coming getting a couple dragoons so he should be fine let's take out this cannon real quick and dragoons are going to spawn there's two cannons back here and we'll see if he goes into a quick hive now and tries to get guardians right here we're going to see a reaver it looks like here's some dragoons right here here's your shuttles going to pick up two dragoons comes your mutas over here got a couple of dragoons right here we'll see if duck gem just tries to snipe out a probe dropping the reavers in here dingo at 39 probes 52 probes for hydra 65 for day gonna come on back let's see if he gets maybe they're gonna bring some dt's in here reavers gonna get a nice shot off but not going to be able to get anything done. And those guys are going to go down. And I think that they should have just went for the attack. They could have just tried to bulldoze through the front with the Reavers. And then gone straight for the attack. And boxed in the Zerg. I think that would have been the better choice. Because I just going to start getting dropped. And he is in a bad spot. So... Here's your drop right here, but a drop coming on him as well. Moving the Dragoons on over. Here's your Reaver pulling. Gonna lose the left side. Here's your Reaver. Some DTs in here. Gonna take that out. And now he's got DTs. Might be able to take out the main if he can kill that. Gets one shot on it. Oh, he takes it out. Oh, DT. Oh, it's still alive. And there's no detection right here. So going to try to take this main right here. Is he gonna get it? <laughs> this is some, oh, this cannon's gonna finish up. Epic, epic stuff though. Nice attempt. Day slowly building up his base. He's got that one upgrade. Needs to get drops. Here's some Yudas right here, some more Zealots coming in. Gonna try to take out this cannon but not able to here's your hive greater spire on the way and a decent amount of hydras right here so they really are going all out on dingo and here comes your attack we'll see if maybe he brings some reavers on over it's kind of walled off here's your mutas coming it's a lot of dragoons though Here's a Reaver right here. TT's right here. And he almost needs to just pull all of these guys in here. Take out that Reaver. Keep pulling these guys in. You can even pull them all the way in back there. Here comes your Hydras though. We'll see if Hydra has any. He's got some storms right here, but it's gonna be a counter on Hydra. Trying to micro these guys in here. DT's in here. Here's your Templar. Gonna try to snipe out the Templar, which he almost does. Bring in some Overlords. I don't think he has any Overlords. Sniping out a shuttle right there. Here's your drop coming from Hydra.
using the Mutas to snipe out the Templars. DTs are really having a field day. This guy's got four kills, seven kills. Really saving the day. Here comes that drop. Dragoon's coming in. Here's some DTs right here. And Dingo gonna call it out. And the shuttle that has all the Templars and it is gonna die. So unfortunate for Hydra. These guys are gonna be able to take that out. Trying to get the main. Almost gonna get the main. This is a pretty, pretty sick game. I mean, two versus two, Western map has really gotten better and better and better, in my opinion. Let's see if there's a, there's your robotics. They need to get at least three robotics and try to start dropping. There's some cannons coming down from Dingo, and we'll probably see some guardians. Are there any mutas up here? You might use these mutas and go for the main, actually. Getting those upgrades right there. There's a little expo action. I'm gonna go after the main. And he's got one Templar in here. Got the storm, and the main is gonna go down. So nice job there by Def Jam. CB starts getting some Lurkers and Swarm. There's your Defiler Mound. Spending his money pretty nicely. He needs to get some more drones, though. Can upgrade on attack. This is what they should have did in the first place was... Cannon in the Zerg, and then really just use Reavers and push through the front with Day's Mass and try to kill Dingo right away. A lot of cannons right here. We'll see if he starts bringing those probes on over. Here's your drop. Templar. There's your... See, one storm. 86 probes. Going to drop to 75. So, losing about 11. Getting speed for the overlords. This guy is scouting. Going to see that expo. We'll see if he starts pulling these probes on over. Yeah, here's your robotics that he needs to get. And go for a lot of drops. He's got one zero two upgrades. Overlords right here. More cannons coming down. So Dingo really building a lot of cannons for his partner. Dingo's got a lot of money, so should get rid of some of his probes. Here's your probes gonna move down here to the expo, but this is getting spotted out. One one upgrades right there. Here comes another drop from Dingo. More cannons right here. We'll see if there's any defilers. There's your defiler. Sending some dragoons over there to help out. Here comes a drop and I'm gonna get the storm off and drop all the way down to 57 probes. So nicely done. I think Hydra should get maybe one more Nexus right here. And now that the Zerg is pretty big, you can just easily get some Zerglings and put up Swarm. Here comes a drop on the Zerg. Getting spotted out, and I don't think this is going to get through. Just way too many. Ooh, it is going to get through. There's your Templar. Is he going to get the Storm off? And he killed a few drones right there, so nicely done. I did not think that was going to get through. And here's your attack. This is what I'm talking about. Just getting some Zerglings Hydras with the Swarm. They're just going to easily be able to bust through this. That's why they should have cannoned a lot earlier right there. And there's your Templar. You get the Storm off. And Dingo has 98 probes. And look at all of these swarms coming down from Def Jam. I think Dingo needs to start building up his base. Here's your Dragoons right here. Gonna need some help from his partner, Day. 
Guardians as well. Here comes a drop on Day. Two, two upgrades for Def Jam. Here's your drop. Is he going to fake it? We get all of those Corsairs on top of the shuttles. I'll try to get those probes. And Dingo needs to get speed. There it is. There's your Templar. Gonna get one storm off. Get a few kills. Look at Dingo's got 113 probes, so really can get rid of a lot of his probes. Two, one, three upgrades. So pretty good upgrades for day. Here's your Mutus. He just needs to drop, though. Try to drop the Zerg. Can't just go mass. 17 minutes into the game. Yeah, it looks like these are going to get turned into Guardians. There's some Corsairs. There's a drop right here. And 75 probes for Hydra. Let's see a 3-3. Three, three. Getting those upgrades right now. Sending these guys on over. Going to take out all these cannons. Try to kill this Expo. So smart move here by Def Jam. And these cannons are going to go down. Let's see who puts another swarm right here. Here comes a drop. And there's your Templar. Going to get the storm off. And Dingo going to drop down to 30, 21 probes. And you're going to have to start moving these guys out of there. Little expo right here for Def Jam. Guardians right here. Gonna start taking this out. We'll see if some Corsairs get made. Trying to stack attack these guys, but a lot of these guys are going down. DT coming over. Here's another drop. And gonna drop down to 57 probes. I really do get frustrated when players don't. When you got two pro tosses, one should be going both. Both of them should be going drops after a while. If you hit Duck Jam with the drop, it would really slow him down. Let's see if this is a drop right here. We're just sending those guys out for vision purposes. Here comes another drop. A lot of Templars in here. Gonna have to pull these guys. Gonna follow the probes. There's your DTs in here. And this one has a Templar in it. I'll pick it back up. Some cannons for his partner, a couple of robos right there. No Templar in there. And a couple more. A decent amount of hatcheries coming down. Reavers right here. Here's your drop. A couple more mutas right there. Drop right here. And not gonna land. 67. 63. 52. 69. So there's more mutas. Gonna turn these guys into guardians. And just start dropping. I mean, Dingo could go with a bunch, a huge Reaver drop with these Guardians if he wanted to. Here's your Hydras moving on out. A lot of DTs. And Guardians are going to finish up. One, two upgrades.
Sending some more units on down. Let's see if a swarm comes down right here. And here's your guardian. It's going to kind of split these guys up. And going to take out... There's a storm. Snipes out that Templar. Nicely done. Snipes out two of those Templars. There's a drop right here. It needs to get a swarm right here. Here comes your drop. Pulling the probes. There's one storm, two storms, three storms. They're going to drop to 55. But now look at these. Nexuses are gone. And this is... This is easily spot abuse right here. Some Archons right here. Looks like he's going to maybe try to go for an Archon drop, but way too many cannons right there. 2-2-3 two, two, upgrades for Dingo's. Dingo's got a really, really good upgrades. These guys are going to go back on accident. Is there another Nexus over here? Observatory. Three, two, three upgrades. Here's your Corsairs right here. I'm gonna take out these Guardians. Swarm gonna come down. Now I'm gonna go try to kill this extra base. See where that defiler's at. And here's your attack on day. There's your swarm coming down. Storm gonna come down as well. Getting those guys on up. And there is your GG McGee. So, Dingo and Def Jam gonna win that one. So now we got Jose in this one. And I think Pablo. So we got Hydra, Ronin, Jose, and Pablo. So we're going to scout with that Overlord. Here's your barracks. And going with quick, quick Zerglings right here. There's your hatchery coming down. I'm gonna try to wall in the Terran. Let's see if we can change the colors here. Here's your forge. Getting gas right now. Here's your three gateways for Ronin. I'm gonna try to box in both players, I think. And Hydra's going to be boxed in. Let's see if he... This guy stopped. I don't know if you can see that cannon. Here's your Zerglings coming in. And going to go after the probes. Gonna pull these guys back. Here's your scout. And maybe try to start cannon rushing... Ronin right here. He's got a forge on the way. I'm gonna step on that probe real quick. Here's your marines. And I'm gonna see those cannons right there and run back. Academy getting close and that probe's gonna die right there, but Ronin is gonna be okay. And we'll see if he gets a quick cannon as well. But now he's boxed in, so 
I'm going to go with a quick lair and a hydro stun. So, very, very interesting. There's a couple gateways right here. Ten marines. Getting range first. Four gateways right here for Pablo. A couple more cannons. There's your Zealot. It's going to see he's boxed in. And we'll see Lurker upgrade right there. Here is a bunker. Three medics. We'll see if Ronnie gets a cannon back here. Another cannon coming down. Zealot's getting made. There's your engineering bay. There's your factory. No extra command center yet for Hydra. Got six medics right there. There's your hydras right here. They go right into a queen's nest. So we're gonna try to get defilers then. Nexus gonna come down for Pablo. Lurker's gonna get made. Once an overlord, I think, spawns. Oh, they're already getting made. There's your command center. As the turret up front, getting that upgrade. Gonna get another bunker. A couple cannons coming down right here. So five lurkers. We'll see if they go for the attack and then tries to run the lurkers through. And there's your hive on the way. So I think they're gonna get be ready to go pretty soon. Should wait for those. Should wait for those zealots to go first. Gonna burrow up. And going to defend against that pretty nicely. That lurker's going to go down. He did get about four kills right there. That attack could have been a lot better. Here's your zealots going for the attack right here. Going to try to bust through. And I think he's going to be able to take this out. Here's your lurkers coming over to help though. Let's see if he's got a citadel on the way. Here's your starport. There's your robotics for Ronin. Filer mound. Getting speed. I think Pablo's playing this one pretty nicely as well. There's your second factory. We'll see maybe a tank drop. Might just try to drop right here. Take this out. And then kill the Zerg. Or he might just try to drop in the Protoss' base. We'll see. He's going to use this tank right here. Seize this up. Gonna drop these guys right here. Gonna try to take out that sunken. There's a medic in there, which is huge. Here's your lurkers. Takes out one, picks those guys all up at the same time. There is a sunken over here, though. That guy's gonna get hit. Scan coming down, so nicely done. Gonna try to take out this. Cool. This guy's gonna burrow up and snipes out the lurker right there. Let's see if he goes picks up some more units here. Might seize this tank up. We'll see, or if he brings him down. Gonna try to snipe out that lurker right there. Almost gets it. 
I micro these guys. Drops the tank. Here's your vessel. Lurker gonna go down. Sieging this guy up. He's got the vessel right here. And they're gonna have to go for the attack. You got some swarm with lurkers though, so. There's a swarm right here. And here's your attack on Hydra. Let's see if another swarm comes down. Another swarm gonna come down. He's got two defilers in here. Another swarm gonna come down. Not looking good for Hydra, but he's killing basically the Zerg. Two drones left. And here's a Reaver drop. Here's your tanks in here. He's got the one upgrade. Zealots keep coming on in. Some more lurkers right here. Swarm coming down. Trying to snipe out the lurkers if he can. One gets in. He does have a vessel. We'll see if he moves the SCVs on over. He can irradiate this guy. But the Zerg is basically dead. Here's your Reaver going to help out. And... He's in some of his SCVs, but I think he's waiting for that irradiate. And that Reaver going to be able to take out that... Take out the Lurker right there. There's a DT in here as well. This is going to go down. Here comes your shuttle. And Ronin should be dropping some Zealots over here and then sending them on over. Sending all these guys on down. Going to go after the minerals right here. Here's your reaver drop. And really no money left. This might be the last. He's going to take out the defiler. But really nothing left. Here's your reaver. And that's going to be the GG. Takes out the main. Some probes coming on over. Here's your attack. The final attack. Start building some cannons in here. Here's your Reaver. And that is going to be your game. So, Hydra and Ronin going to win that game. Hydra kind of just carried that game. So, we got a Protoss, Protoss versus Protoss Zerg. And, got Sword, who runs SCW. And you got EQ, I can't remember his name, but this guy's pretty, pretty, pretty good. So. Protoss, Protoss, looks like they're going to build in the middle cannons. And Hydra's going to probably just build up his base. Here comes your forge, I think. Might be two gateways, we'll see. we go two gateways. Then a forge. Gonna get a cannon right here. Well, I think he should have got the cannon right here. There we go. Oh, he's gonna get a gateway right there. They might be able to cannon this and then take out these gateways, so we'll see. Here's your Zealots right here, not gonna be able to get anything done. So we'll see if they go, maybe both go into a mass. Here's your Cyber already. 
Other hatchery coming down. I think Ronin should send in a little bit. He should take one each of these zealots and try to scout this Protoss and then scout this Protoss. Right when these guys get about right there. There's your Zerglings right here. And Forge. We go for the attack on Hydra right here. Cannon coming down. And Sword, in my opinion, is very underrated. He is a good, good twos player for sure. More cannons coming down. Here's your probe getting the scout off. Here's your nexus. The one thing about EQ is usually it only gets one extra nexus. And sometimes it ends up costing them. Double gas right there. There's your first gas. And I think that Ronin should get uh, Dragoons. So he can stop drops. So they both want to kind of just stop drops and then eventually try to outmass. Three more gateways. Here's a cannon coming down. Another hatchery. There's your Hydro Den. Support bay. There's your shuttle. Taking out this. Trying to take out that overlord. Let's see what the tech is over here. Templar archives. So both of them are basically going for drops. Going to use this shuttle. Try to drop in Hydra's base, I think. See if he starts making some Hydras. So here's your shuttle. Getting speed. Speed. Old sword and EQ playing very, very similar. Same pace for the most part. And Hydra gonna probably pull these guys down here as soon as he can. Here's your four zealots. He's got the zerglings coming on over. I'm gonna try to snipe out the shuttle if he can get it. Be huge. Ooh, right there. He's got 10 HP left. And let's see if he tries to snipe it out over here. Here's your Dragoons for Ronin to help against drops. Templar Archives. And Sword should probably get two more robotics. He's got the gas for it. He's got, there we go, Stargate and, that's actually better in my opinion. Stargate and a robotics. Sending out some Hydras right here, gonna micro these guys. Possibly go for the attack. They might be able to go for a nice little attack right here, so. Put these Hydras right here. And. Here's your Templar drop. From Sword. Seven minutes in. There's your Dragoons. One Storm. And two Storms going to drop all the way down to seven probes. So huge, huge drop right there. DT's right there. And this is why you get two Robotics, because you can just quickly get two Shuttles like this. And keep the drops coming. Here's a Reaver. I just slowly getting bigger.
And another drop coming. Let's see if he just drops this here and maybe starts pushing. That Reaver. There's your Spire. Hive getting close. Here's another drop. This drop going to try to sneak in here. And I think it's going to get through. Here's your Hydras, though. And... Is it going to land? I think he got some. I think this drop got stopped. Going to go right into a Greater Spire. Get some more Sunkins around his main. Ronan is pretty darn broke right now. And Sword and EQ are starting to mass up. Getting all those gas. Other robotics right there. Here comes another drop. Probably get a couple Scorgies. And this drop gonna maybe sneak into Ronan's base. We will see it's sneaking into Hydra's. Snipes out one of the shuttles. And going back and forth. Trying to sneak it in. Trying to pull these guys on over. And there's your Templar gonna get a storm off. And he got a decent amount of the drones, but still at 36. And now 67 and 63 probe count. Here comes another drop. Gonna get the wrong one. Oh, he's gonna snipe that one out. So nicely done. And another drop coming, I think. There's a couple guardians in here. Here's your drop. Just gonna make it through. Probably jump the Templar first. He's not. There's your Templar. Gets the storm off. But already pulled the probes. So at 25 probes. Here's your Guardian's going to spawn. And now look at Sword. Really starting to build up his base. Same with EQ. Those upgrades, sword is. Here comes another drop. I drop those guys and hockey them. Drop coming in. Gonna snipe the back one, which is the wrong one, and not gonna get the storm off. So, Guardians are gonna save the day right there. We'll see if Hydra starts getting some lurkers as well to put around his main. They usually help with Reaver drops as well as Templar drops. Here comes another storm. And they're gonna go for the attack. I think they should have waited. So all their units were together in the middle and then going for the attack. Here comes your attack. Gonna try to sneak this in over here. See if he spots it out. Hydra's moving up. Pulling the probes. 49 and gonna drop to 33. So lose about 16 right there. Guardians right here. See if some storms come down. There's one. Another drop coming. Just snipe out that drop. Just snipes out both. And here's your lurkers. Upgrades 111. And a bunch more hatchers coming down for Hydra.
Trying to kind of split these guys up. And here's another drop. See if this could spot it out. And gonna lose about 10 of his probes. This is another drop right here. Sneak it into Hydra's base. Didn't get the strong side. He didn't get all of Zerg right there. And Ron has just been broke all game. Here's some Guardians getting made. Another drop coming. 2-2-2 two, two, two probably going to be... We're not there yet. Let's see if he's got 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Kind of forgetting their upgrades. Lurker's getting made. I don't see any observers. Yeah, sword going to say observers on the way. Sees these lurkers. Gonna try to sneak this drop in over here. Oops. And they just keep sending in the units here. Here's that drop. See if this gets spotted out. And not going to get the storm off. There's a storm up here. And not going to get the storm off. So nicely done. These guys will probably burrow up, burrow up pretty soon. And yeah, they need observers. ASAP. These guys are killing it. There is an observer here. Gonna start building in the middle. Try to cannon in the Zerg. We'll see if Hydra gets. Yeah, he's got a Defiler Mound. Starts using. Oh, he's already using Swarm, so. Start sending these guys on out. It's another drop. I mean, Sword and EQ really dropping machines. And gonna try to go into Hydra's base. Gonna fake it and go back. There's your Templars. Ooh, he's gonna miss the storm. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Aranen, he's got only eight supply of units. Everything else is probes at the moment, so. Maybe gonna start making some Reavers. Another drop coming right here. Nice job getting these cannons right here. This is probably sword. Oh, it's EQ. And gonna try to sneak this drop in. I don't think he's gonna be able to get this off though. Well, he is gonna get it off. Got a decent amount of drones right there. They keep sending in the units. Two, two, two upgrades. A couple of robos coming in the middle. And they just keep on storming. Couple Reavers getting made by Ronin. And he's got 70 probes. Some Guardians getting made for Hydra right here. There are some Templars though. We'll see if this guy tries to storm. I think he probably sees it. He's trying to go in there and storm. But he's not. He is going to die. There's another drop. Just going to make it in. Here's your Templar. And going to get two storms off. And got a decent amount of Hydras. Drones. These guys are coming around to attack this and they are slowly busting into Ronin's base we'll see if they just try to storm right over the top Zerglings coming on over 2-1 upgrades and 
Sword knows that he's got enough money. He can get rid of some of his probes. And they are slowly taking out Ronin. There's a Templar in here. So if he pulls him back. I think they're going to probably go for another storm on Hydra. Slowly getting into Ronan's base. Here's some guardians right here. Here's a drop coming through. One Templar in there. And he's just going to leave it. Drone's coming back. I think Hydra could get some Scorgies. Might get this drop off. Pulling the drones. Going to get the left side. And gets a decent amount of the drones of Hydra right there. So nicely done. Down to 40... One drones. Gonna have to start sending these reavers on over. Three, three, three upgrades. Here's another drop. There's your Templar. Gonna get the storm off. He saved 36 probes, but these Reavers are coming in and gonna start storming on the probes. Another storm coming down. These guys don't. This guy has enough energy. Let's see if he storms. And sword and EQ pointing this one really, really nicely. So another drop sneaking in here. some more drones of Hydra and the supply is just 70 34 to basically both Protoss is maxed out and this one is gonna go to EQ and sword so good good game right there I think I'm just gonna do was a Protoss Protoss I think I will just do this one, and then I'll do those other two games in a different one. So this time we have Ronin and Hydra Protoss Terran versus Protoss Protoss. Viper class and Addy. Not sure who Addy is. Viper class has been on my channel before. There's your triple racks. I'm gonna try to box in Hydra right here. Here's your probes, here comes your Zealot. And is the forge not done yet? Forge right here. See some early micro action. I'm gonna send this guy on over. Two cannons coming down. Six Marines. Might be able to take this guy out real quick. Let's 
These cannons are going to be getting close. That's a lot of zealots right there. Stack attack coming. Has to be careful. Gotta micro these guys back. Comes a couple of zealots. Gonna try to take out the cannons. Take out one cannon. Gotta get the second one almost. Yeah, he does get it. He's got four marines right here. Still pumping. He's got three medics on the way. Comes a couple of zealots. And he's gonna send them into Addy's base. Just snip on that probe. Nice little micro right there. Probe coming in. He's got six marines right here. But this cannon's gonna finish up, so Addy's gonna be completely fine. Sending these guys on over. Got another probe. And these cannons are gonna be finishing up. We'll see if a factory comes down for Hydra. Getting stim. Running these guys on around. And he's got a couple of fire bats here as well. Accidentally gonna get this one gas. Should get the other gas as well. This guy's gonna be in the corner. Scouting the tech. Gonna see the cyber. Six zealots. There's your two extra command centers. Gonna get three more medics, and we'll see if he tries to stim and bust through this. Because he knows he has these cannons to retreat to. Let's see if Dragoons get made from Viper class. He's to run these guys back. There's a lot of Zealots. He's got the choke though, so he should be fine. Here comes your stim. Gonna take this out. And these guys are gonna obliterate these zealots. Just make sure he doesn't get flanked. Gonna take out all these zealots as well. A little micro back right there, so nicely done. We'll see if they go for the attack on left middle. And there's your factory. Let's see if dragoons, yeah, dragoons getting made. And now I think they should try to box in one of these players really quickly and then go for the attack on the other player. Do they not know? Does he not know that? Well, they think he's bottom right, but he's... They still don't know. <laughs> they didn't scout him out. Here's your robotics for Ronin. To pull these guys on back. Double comsat. Go straight for the attack on Viper class, and he doesn't really have that many cannons, so I think he thinks he's safe with all of these with his dragoons. But Marines and medics absolutely devour. Here comes your attack, and let's stim these guys up. And he might try to run these guys into the side. We'll see. I mean, Hydra's turn is just unbelievable. We'll go back to the minerals. He gets the probes on the right side. And the left side, all gone. Down to one probe. And... Now he did his job. Let's see if we're going to see DTs coming. But there's cannons right here, so good job there by Ronin. And Viper class is going to leave, and that's going to be your G. G. So. Nicely done right there. Quick drop right here for Ronin. So, good games right there. I want to do two other games in a different cast. But, wanted to do, do those. Um, so, yeah, good games right there. Give it a like and subscribe if you uh, want to. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.